how do we write the truths of the gospel on their hearts? So I think, how do we do that with our kids? And of course, when we teach our kids to sing, you know, when we teach our kids to, to sing the great hymns of the faith, they're actually learning a theology of God. They're learning how to address God. They're understanding that God is our Father. It's their understanding that Jesus is their only hope. And they're understanding that they're powerless without His Spirit. They're understanding the Gospel story, that they are made beautiful in the image of God, but they're also realizing that they are, they are sinners in need of a Savior. They are sinners in need of repentance. And so, you know, what we're doing is we're teaching the faith, but unlike a sermon, once they do that month and that hymn, they have it for the rest of their lives. And then hopefully they will look at it and go, those were beautiful melodies, those were beautiful moments. They were told to me by a dad who loved me and a mom who loved me. You know, for me, that's, that's the most important thing in my life for my girls, do you know what I mean? And uh, they're 11 to four, I don't know where they're gonna go. You know, being, being children of Christian leaders is never easy. So I don't, I don't tell you that I've got a peculiar confidence in their future or any guarantees, but um, we really prioritize it. What I gave my children by teaching them Be Thou My Vision was I took them to school that next morning and they were still singing it in the car and I thought, Be Thou My Vision, O Lord of my heart. To hear my own child sing, that, that's what I want for my child. Then verse two, as they go to school, I want them to sing, Be Thou My Wisdom. Someday they're gonna leave their daddy. They're not gonna to want to hug me first every night and they're gonna leave home. And I want them to sing, Be Thou My Breastplate Sword for the Fight because they're gonna have hard temptation. And then some of my girls are gonna have successes in life. Some are not gonna have successes. Some may even have tragedies. And I want them to sing riches I heed not, nor man's empty praise, thou mine inheritance, now and always. And then finally, I do know for sure that all of them are gonna have sickness and die. And I want them to sing high king of heaven after victory won. Now the point is, if I spend four weeks every night for 10 minutes singing that song to them in bed. I know because that has lasted from the ninth century that that hymn is gonna last with them all of their lives. And those five prayers are going to go with them, whatever state their hearts and minds are in. So that's why it's so important to take hymns that we know last and to fill our minds and our hearts and our memory banks and our emotions and our subconscious and our family's lives with great hymns of the faith.